All right, guys, they're playing some Udyr top lane versus a Riffin. And what we're running in this game is Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Demolish, and then also the Bone Plating. This game, I'm going to show you how to carry with Udyr top lane, and we're going to be having fun with the uh, Trinity Force slash Blade build. In my opinion, with the Q Max, it's like the best thing you can have. Start off with the Chef right here. Thinking about picking up my Q immediately. Nothing's better than wrecking your Riffon. Not gonna lie to you. It's been a while since I've seen somebody, uh, in fact, like picking a Riffon against me. I think it's been an entire month since I've seen anybody doing that, actually. Good start. So, yeah, typically what you always do is you, uh, you typically go for the R in the lane when you play Udyr. But for me, I've always gone for the Q-Max. I always prefer the Q-Max. Try it out a couple of times to go R and it's good for lane, but like afterwards? Like the Q-Max is one of the most broken things on earth. If you can get Blade and Trinity Force in combination, it's one of the most ridiculous builds I've ever played with the entire setup. You'll see this game as well. We're gonna be absolutely chilling once we, uh, once, once we pull through a little bit. Not really taking as much damage for now. What's he got? He's got Ignite. Okay. Throw a shove in. I will just place a very quick ward down. My Chongnu is pathing topside, so I can probably use that very well here. Could hit my E in advance, so I can get a better combo off. We'll see. Yeah, I'll do it here. Yep. I win that trade. Still got a potion remaining as well. I'll use it now so I can heal up. I'll also use my W for healing. Already being ganked by a jungler. Hmm. Wait, I need my jungler to go here. Wait a second. You know, my jungler gets his hands on this thing. Or I get it, that's fine too. Sure. This guy's gonna flash across. Now the most important thing is that we don't let this wave actually go down on my tower. I need to push that back into Riffin here, because otherwise she's gonna get a reset off and there's not really as much that I could do about it to prevent it anymore at that point. Last one. Or, if she does decide to reset, I don't mind freezing it. But again, that kind of depends. If she resets here, that's going to be a good one. Yep. She decides to go for a reset. GG, man. This is going to be really good for my lane. Um, even though I'm going to lose the item advantage right now, um, we do actually get our hands on a sweet XP advantage, which is well appreciated. Like, that's going to impact my lane quite a bit, actually. I will have to start shoving now. Don't want to overuse my mana too much either. Really good start, I would say. But we gotta be careful now, because she does actually beat me in terms of the items. She's got the the Warhammer already. So we just gotta do the best we can to reset. I'm gonna avoid every fight right now. Yeah, this is a problem. She's level 5. This is a problem. I can't reset. I could try though. If she gets level 6, it's basically gonna get worse. Yeah, she just got it now. Blade 
I've got like one point in my ultimate just to make things slightly easier for me. Just in case. I've got my jungler pathing top. Man, like seriously, if I get a reset on here, my lane is going to look very, very good. Just need to make it. Let's go. Nice. Now all we need to do is reset. Yeah, the R is not going to be as effective anymore soon. But I'm glad that I at least um, I got it. And let's reset. Nice. Can't really use my Demolish proc because Riffin's going to make it back pretty much instant. And let's go for the Trinity Force. Directly into that one. This one too. Could actually maybe decide to go for Berserker's Greaves and then two pots in this one. The reason why I value Berserker's Greaves here uh, more than the Heartbound Axe is because uh, Berserker's Greaves provide me attack speed, plus I can still chase down the Riffin if I want to or run from it. Which makes it much easier for me to like get kills on the on the Riffin here. I, will the of this I would have preferred Heartbound Axe to be honest, but I think Riffin will just get away all the time if I decide to do it. Of course you will come back with the wave pushing into me. Can't really fight with the wave is in this position. So we're chilling for now. Farming wise we're ahead, looking good. My jungle is like playing it mostly around Balan currently. Oh, this feels so much better to have so much attack speed, like right at the start. I don't typically always go Berserker Squeeze instant, but sometimes in these games, it's just worth it. Hmm, here we go for that one. Got it. Nice. Pretty much an instant kill. Because um, specifically when the Riffin decided to hit the third Q is, is also when I decided to go for the Olden. So she had no combo available at the time. And before we go for the reset, I do want to try and proc my, uh, my Demolish. I'm down to like try and risk it. Need to shuffle in this wave too. Very important moment here, actually. Yeah, couldn't do it. I was really hoping that I could actually get my hands on my... Two of these plates, actually. That would have been really good. I think we can still get a kill on him. There you go. The lob. I'll heal back once more. You can't be serious that she's running into that direction, right? Okay. I didn't even use my empowered one. <laughs> There's no need to. Excellent. I think I might keep it though. Nice. Yeah, I'll proc it once more. Can probably get like two plates, by the way. Yep. That's gonna impact my lane so much, you have no idea. Like, we get like two plates, we got a kill, plus we got the wave to go down on our tower, which means that this guy will lose pretty much everything. Now we got this one, we can also buy that one. And now we run back. You'll see now, 
that this game is uh, dramatically changing in terms of the traits we're doing and like how well we can uh, or how much we can play aggressive because um, we now have nearly have my 24 plus my Q is like almost maxed out. We can get like one more point and that's it. So the real fun is about to begin. Now I think Riffin is inside the brushes. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'll just shove so we can spawn it if he wants. Let's go. Yep, that will help. I'm gonna get another play because of it, and it's gonna get me ahead. Possibly it's gonna get me Journey Force here. Nice. The auction is also down here. Really? I got him. Ah, yeah, that's what I was afraid about. She was gonna get away. Jump across. Well, I guess we can probably still try. Yep. Got him. After we push, we go back. Nice. 2.4k gold. That's really good. Now we can buy Trinity Force and we can also go into Blade. Perfect. Or we can decide that we go Hydra and then Blade afterwards. That's like also a really good idea um, because then I can have very much improved AoE damage for the for the clearing. Mostly the clearing is what I care about the most because then I can just hard shove top lane and then afterwards I can uh, take the jungle camps as well. Basically perma push. We're actually gonna do this. And maybe, nah, never mind. I was thinking about getting the jungle camp, but I'm actually going to try killing this Riven first. Yeah, that's so much better, bro. So much better, actually. Improved wave clear, always appreciated. I guess maybe. Oh, never mind. Let's go for some jungle camps as well. And then after the jungle camps, I will probably push one more and then roam towards mid lane. Got it. Just chilling. <laughs> just chilling, you know. No, no problems. Nothing to worry about. Just, just Udir. No ultimate required. I'm not using my R button at all, actually. Only using my Q. And it's time. We're gonna head back. But before we do... Riffen is in mid lane, so if I walk up here... We can get the entire tower. I guess I'm probably not going to catch up. No. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I get out guided, that sucks. 
<laughs> that sucks so much, man. Okay, uh, let's go for Blade of the Rune King. Um, I'll pick up the Urkorpo. I just was worth trying. I was hoping that I could get to him before he could turn. Because if you hit your E, you can actually have like a little leap towards your opponent and then chase up. What? Okay. This guy literally killed me, but I suppose the entire enemy team just decided to surrender with the, their mid lane as an exception. <laughs> okay. But uh, this is Udi top lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube vid. And I'll see you next time. Peace.